In the previous video, we looked at expanding brackets. But in this video, we're going to be looking at factorising. Now, these two things are inherently linked. They are actually reverse processes of one another. So if I expand brackets, okay, expand the brackets, the brackets disappear. So effectively, if I started off with something like uh, two lots of x minus three, and I expand the brackets, so two lots of the x is two x, and two lots of the minus three is minus six, then what happens in expanding the brackets is that the brackets disappear. The factorising is going from this stage backwards to this stage. Okay, going back, so we're putting the brackets back in. And we need to find a way of doing that. Now, the key concept is that what you want to do is you want to look for the highest common factor of the two terms that you have in front of you. Okay? So, the highest common factor of the 5 and the 15, we're just going to look at the numbers. We're not going to... the fact that this has an x doesn't really worry us at the moment, okay? Uh, we'll look at other problems later on in this video. But just starting off, the highest common factor of 5 and 15, well, that would just be 5. So we want the largest number that goes into both terms, and that's 5. And that is the number that will go on the outside of the bracket. Now subsequently what we need are two terms that will multiply with the 5 to make these. So 5 lots of something will make 5x and that only something that could be is x. 5 times x is 5x. Now we also want to make 15 so 5 lots of something must be 15 and the only number that it is is plus 3. 5 lots of 3 is 15. And now it is factorised. Okay? So it is what, as we want it. Let's look at another example. Let's look at um, 12 minus 8x. So first things first, we do it in a very similar way. We're looking for the highest common factor of 12 and 8 the largest number that goes into both, and that would be 4. So the largest number that goes into both is 4, and that is the number that goes on the outside of the bracket. And now we want 4 lots of something will be 12. Well, 4 lots of 3 is 12. And 4 lots of something will be minus 8x. And the only something that it could be is minus 2x. 4 lots of minus 2 will make the minus 8. We must have the x there. And now it is factorised. Okay? So this is the process. Look for the largest number that goes into both those two. So let's do another example. Let's make this a little bit easier for ourselves. In the sense that if I had something like um, 22x plus uh, 55, then the largest number that goes into both 22 and 55 is 11. So that's what goes on the outside of the bracket. And 11 times 2 will make 22x. Well, 2x, sorry. 11 times 2x will make 22x. And 11 times 5 will make 55. So what if, instead, we had something like, um, let's say we had something like 12x squared plus 15x. Factorise this. Right, well, some things we've got to take into account first. And first things first is that you look at the two numbers, the 12 and the 15, and we're dealing with Find the largest number that goes into both. What is the highest common factor of 12 and 15? Well, the highest common factor of 12 and 15 is 3. Okay? So we know that 3 is going to be on the outside of the bracket. 
However, we can also see, if I highlight it in red, that both of these have an x as well. So they actually have a common factor of x. And so x can also be brought outside of the bracket. Which means that I have 3x times something will make 12x squared. And the only way to make 3x times something make 12x squared would be to have 4x. Because 3 lots of 4 is 12, and x times x is x squared. And then 3x times something, sorry, 3x times something will make 15x. So 3x times 5 will make 15x. And so now this is factorised. The 3x has been brought outside and the 4x plus 5 is inside. <coughs> so if you have an x squared term and an x, then an x can be brought outside of the bracket as well. Okay? But really, the first thing you want to do is look at the numbers. Ignore the algebra, look at the numbers, find the highest common factor, the largest number that goes into both, that can be brought outside of the bracket.